let us see the problem first what it says so it says that given a positive integer n return the number of integers in the range 0 to n whose binary representation do not contain consecutive ones okay so for example like if i have an integer n then i can have binary representation starting from 0 to 5 as 0 1 1 0 which is 2 3 4 and 5 and out of this there is only 3 which has two consecutive ones so we will give return the value as 1 2 3 4 and 5 as the total number the second example is 1 and if i have 1 then what representations we can have 0 and then the other one can be 1 and then you will have two values which will have no consecutive one okay let's try to look over this problem a little bit more detail so we say that if you have only one bit then how many numbers you can make like you can make a zero or you can make a one the binary representation right so let me mark this in green and then if i have maybe two then what you can make either from this zero we can make zero and add one more zero and zero and add a one from this i can one and zero and then i can add one and one more right then if i have supposedly three three bits okay then what you can do i can take this zero and make it three bits zero zero and one more zero 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 and a one and then i take zero one and add a zero and then i take a zero one and one more one and then one zero add a zero and one zero add a one and then take one one add a zero one one and add a one okay just taking these values and adding once zero and adding once one nice now if you have supposedly four bits what you will have if you have four bits here how many combinations numbers you can make let's try to write them so if you take a zero 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 and add a zero and a one then like zero 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 and one more zero then zero 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 and a one and then i take this number then zero zero one and a zero and then zero zero one and a one the third one zero one zero and a zero zero one zero and a one the fourth one zero one one and a zero zero one one and a one this one one zero 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 one zero zero one the next one one zero one zero and the next one zero one one then one one zero zero one one zero one and then one 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 zero and one 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 okay now let's count how many of these numbers basically have consecutive ones so here you say uh, does not have consecutive ones to say this one plus one two numbers and here if you say this is fine this is fine this is fine no this is not fine so we have three numbers here if we go this is fine this is fine fine no here consecutive ones this is fine this is fine consecutive ones consecutive ones so one two three four and five right here if we say fine 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 not fine 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 not fine not fine 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 that's not 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 fine. So how many it is one two three four five six seven and eight right do you see here a pattern it basically becomes a Fibonacci series. So you have a two, then a three, then a five, and then a eight. So it's two plus three equal to five, and five plus three equal to eight. So from a number in a range like from zero zero zeros to one one one, the total number of the total count of the numbers with non-consecutive ones is f of three. That's why you get f of 3 is 5. Now, keeping this in mind, let's move forward and try to understand the problem. Taking another example. So, the first example, what we can take here is uh, the number 5. What's the binary representation of 5? It's 1, 0, 1, right? So, now we will consider the first significant bit, which is 1 here. So, if we take this 1 as a prefix, what's the number left? It will be in the range 0 to 0, 0 to 1, 1, right? And what will be the total number of values in which there is no consecutive ones in the binary representation that will be the fibonacci of two right as we basically reduced it just few seconds above just few sec few minutes before, out here so the maximum number of bits in the range 0, 0, 0 to 111 is f of three 
it is like in the same way right and what is the next what is the next uh, significant bit out here it is one there is no bits after this if we so take 101 is the prefix what is left is only zero and then what will be the total number of values with no consecutive one will be f of zero and you know f the, so the answer will be f of zero plus f, f of two plus f of zero plus one which will be uh, three plus one plus one equal to five why we have plus one this plus one is to add the answer the number itself which was given to us as a as a question right so this was also a possible representation where there is no consecutive one so we will have the answer as five let's take the let's take another example so if we take a number as 180 what's the binary representation of one one 180 it will be one zero one one zero one zero zero okay i'll change the color so first significant bit will be one so if i take this as the prefix then how many bits are left one two th three four five six and seven so we can have numbers in the range zero three four five six seven two one two three four five six seven which will give f of seven as the total number of values which will not have consecutive ones now if you take the next significant bit which is this one so we'll have one zero one as the prefix then we'll have one two three four and five bits right so one two three four five and one two three four five so the total number of values which will not have consecutive ones will be f of five then we take the next one now you see that here we have consecutive ones already in the prefix itself so the prefix is one zero one one so now we break we can we don't want to go further because if the prefix itself is having consecutive ones then the, all the possible answers after that will be wrong so the total answer what we will break here so the answer will be f of 7 plus f of 5 see here we don't add 1 why because the given number what was given to us is already having a consecutive one itself so we don't add 1 to the answer while in this case 5 we were adding 1 to the answer it will become a bit more clear as we go and have a look at the code so let's go and write the code on lead code so what's the maximum number of bits what we can have it's given that it's 10 to the power 9 here so we can have at max 31 bits to represent that 10 to the power 9 number in an integer so i will take an array and i will say fib of 31 okay nice now we know that fib of 0 will be 1 because you can have just one number which will not have any consecutive one and fib of 1 will be 2 we just calculated when 0 and 1 is the value now we fill this fib completely by using this first two numbers so i will say for int i equal to 0 i less than 30 and i plus plus right and what you will do fib of i is equal to fib of i minus 1 plus fib of i minus 2 okay so now we have the whole fib series value which will we will use this fib in order to basically calculate the actual thing what you want to do we'll take three variables one for answer is equal to zero and then we'll have a variable which we will use for the count so i will say count is equal to number of iterations what we want to do exactly that will be 30 0 plus 1 31 so we'll take the value as 30 including 0 it will be 31 values and then we'll have one more variable which in which we will save if the previous bit was 1 or not and then we will take keep this as previous bit 1 as false or maybe I'll keep it as 0 because it's an integer nice now we'll use a while loop and while count is greater than or equal to 0 right and what we have to do We'll check if the number what is given to us and and shift one left shift one by the total count because we want to see the for at what location in the input number if it's a binary representation you have a one the bit is one right that's why we are using left shifting one by the count and doing a 
binary and with this and if this is true if this is true that means now we have to basically add to the answer fib of that particular count value right again we have to check if previous bit if the previous bit what we were just checking before this iteration was already one then we have to break from the root then we have to just uh, return answer right as i explained in the explanation if you don't if you don't get it just go back a little bit few minutes back and see the explanation where i gave why we are doing this here and what happens if it's not true then we just make the previous bit one equal to one make it true else what we have to do else we have to make the previous bit one is equal to zero again and we decrease the count every time if this whole iteration completes that means the input number was also a valid one right so we will return in that case answer plus one not only answer that's what i was talking about in the last few seconds let's run the code okay we declared something wrong here okay it should be a comma fib of us oh, this is an array sorry we have we took this variable as count not k count minus minus oh we have to start the count from two nice and then we submit it again here you go it passes all the test case okay i hope you got the problem understood the problem and this video if it helped you please do like and subscribe thank you